Hello YouTube, long time no see. A lot of things have changed in the last months and I have to debrief you real fast so you can understand why I haven't uploaded any videos in forever. Some of you might already know, I was living in the United States and I had to move to the other side of the world. I found another job, so I came to Malaysia, which is freaking far away from where I was. The thing is, I was missing my hobby, so I basically convinced my wife to let me buy some more stuff. So that's what I did. I bought some stuff to start painting again. So if this is your first time watching any of my videos, I think it's a great way for you to figure out what you're gonna need in order to pay miniatures with washes the way I do it. I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I bought so you can start doing the same and start painting miniatures real fast and really easy. You ready? Let's go! First things first, you're gonna need a surface to start working on. Um, at the beginning I didn't find anything good so this is the only thing that I could, you know, find over here and this is what I got, which is tremendously small and I was thinking, well, okay, I will be just yes, cutting my miniatures and, and things like that on top of this and then I will use something else to paint on but later on, I found this beauty, which I'm really happy with because it's huge, it's an A2 size for those of you who don't understand the A2 sizes and things like that this is 600 millimeters by 450 that's a huge, huge surface to be working on, and I'm, I'm really happy with it. So, first thing first, get a nice surface. It can be a table with some cardboard on it, or something like this. This is not really expensive. I paid like six dollars for it, so it's it's totally worth it. Okay, you're gonna need some tools, and in this case, I got some clippers, which is great because that's how I get the miniatures from the sprues or I cut the pieces in whichever shape I want them if it's something like really big. These work well with metal, resin and plastic so yeah and they are not not expensive so get some of these. Then of course the old trusty always has to be there the cutter okay you're gonna need something sharp to cut a lot of pieces and, and beads and yeah you need that. It's great also for getting rid of uh, the mold lines, which is something that you have to get rid every time that you paint with washes. And in case that you cannot get to some of those mold lines or you want to do things a little bit different, this is a file and files are tremendously useful for this. Talking about glues, um, the first one is plastic glue, which since a lot of miniatures nowadays are made of glue, this is probably the best one that you can use for that. And there's the always trusty kind of super glue. Okay, this is a Japanese brand. I don't really know what it says, but yep. And then white glue or PVA, because you're gonna need to glue sand and things like that, or static grass. So these three are quintessential to the hobby. More painting. You're gonna need a trusty mug where you're gonna put the water that you're gonna be mixing your paints with or thinning down. Then you're gonna need some paper towel which is gonna be where you're gonna dry your brushes and clean them. And then you also need, of course, brushes. And I strongly recommend that you invest some money on them. I haven't found really good ones around here. But this one says that it's made out of sable which is a kind of hair which I think is gonna be, oh crap, this is not in focus which I think is going to be perfect for the task, I hope so. And I got a Citadel layer size brush, which I hope will work all right. So in my, in my, um, in my opinion, you should like, get, two, uh, get two good brushes for painting, one big and one small. And then you need also an old one, which I haven't got yet, for painting your bases with dry brush, if you do that. Spray paints. Well, first one you need a primer, white. Okay, has to be white primer. 
Uh, this one I never tried before, so well, I'll see how it works. Citadel Corax White, I guess it will be alright. But there are cheaper, 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 way cheaper options out there. So um, before this, I used to use Krylon, which is. really good for what I was doing and then you need some kind of varnish I use um, spray varnish because I paint batches and it takes forever if I do it by brush but yeah I hope this one works just fine okay so you got all the tools now of course you need the paints so I'm gonna start with this one. This is a mistake. Pretend it's black, okay? So it should be Abaddon Black. I think it's the name nowadays. Um, I always buy black and white because you're gonna need those for a lot of things. It's either highlighting or doing some uh, retouching here and there. So those two should be like that. Myself, since I paint my bases with a Renox uh, Hide, I buy that and then I highlight those with Ushapti Bone. But I recommend having this color no matter what, even if your bases are not like that, because this can be used for a lot of different things and retouching. I use yellow for painting uh, the eyes on my goblins and orcs. And then I have these metals, which I'm missing is lead belcher, so I hope I can get a hold of that one soon enough, because I have uh, been painting with lead belcher for a long time, it's my base color for metals. Then. I got all the washes in nowadays catalog, or at least the ones that were in, at the store at that moment. So I got all these four greens, these two, which I used to paint black, okay? I start with a shading of Drakenhof Nightshade, and then uh, I go ahead and do another one with no oil. The, of course, the browns that I use all the time, the Agrax Earthshade and the Surfing Sepia, which you know I love. And this is really good for flesh and, well, painting basically human skin and things like that. And Caragor Crimson, which I use a lot too for some details in my orcs. And then all these guys for reds and yellows and Gilliman Blue. Now I'm missing two colors that I really, really want to have and one of them is Druchi Violet and of course Azure Man Blue, which I haven't been able to get hold of because it's discontinued. So I have to find another way to do the blue that I usually do. Got all your tools and all your stuff, so I recommend that you get a box or something where to transport them and keep them in order. Um, I got this really cheap one for a couple of bucks and this is where I put all my washes and all my brushes and everything that fits in it. The rest just goes out and that's it. So keeping everything organized helps a lot, both for peace of mind and to be able to start working once again. So you got your paints, your surface and your tools. The only thing that you need is just get a hold of some miniatures and start doing exactly that, painting. Myself, I'm gonna do these guys. I'm just gonna change their bases and put them on that square ones so they can fit in my army because I don't really play Blood Bowl but I'm pretty sure that I can do it even if the bases are square. So yeah, next one is gonna be Goblins once again. <sighs> yeah, goblins once again because my army needs more Goblins and the thing is I'm waiting for my 9th age second edition just to come already and, and see what's gonna happen with the armies. I don't know about you guys, I have a lot of hype, but at the same time I'm kind of scared that if we wait too long it might lose all the traction that we got all these past months. So please, Knife Age developers, please. get the edition out as soon as possible because everybody's waiting. A lot of people have mothballed their armies, they are waiting and they don't want to paint stuff because they don't know if it's going to be worth it or not or the base is going to be, uh, the base size is going to be changing and some stuff. Give us something. 
please give us something. I know this is a painting um, uh, channel, it has nothing to do with gaming, but a lot of us want to paint for gaming, so please give us something. That's all for today, thank you for watching, have fun, roll dice, make as many sixes as you can, and paint. Bye. Alright, done. Yeah, these are cool natures.